Well, how do guys? Welcome back to a new fishing video. If you do enjoy them, do take time to give the videos a thumbs up, perhaps give them a share, and also if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So what are we doing this evening? Well, we're going to do some barbel fishing. Got the pin and the Shimano Barbel Power Vengeance rod. And I'm going to head off onto the river and see if we can get amongst some barbel. Anyway, really low witter in this time. I want to get to the spots, so let's crack on, shall we? Oh, mosquitoes everywhere, I can tell you that. Everywhere, lots of matchbox size mosquitoes. Um, yeah, so, as I said at the start of the video, going to be doing some barbel fishing this evening, well, hopefully. Uh, maybe pick up the old chub. So the setup is as per usual. The Shimano Vengeance Barbel Power Rod. Marco Cortesi centre pin reel. Low resistance running rig setup. Same as you've seen on lots of my videos. Now, bait-wise, mainline 50-50 base mix with my own added liquid foods, spices and palliative stimulants. Just a nice blank canvas milk protein bait base mix, that is. Then I've added my own, what I feel is my own signature and little twist. What I'm happy with, what has certainly been working so far this season. Um, and that's as simple as it gets. Got some mainline power particle hemp mixed with some bird seed and a nice little bit of the um, mainline margin coarse ground bait, which is quite a nice fishy aroma. Hoping there isn't too many craze about, probably will be. If there is, I've got some extra hard air dried boilies as well to switch over to. I'm just trying to chop and choose, make my mind up what swim that I want to fish. There's a, there's a few dotted about. And this swim that I've got my mind set on has got bushes one side and the um, other spot has got a sunken tree and a bush. So yeah, I'm gonna have a good look, have a good chin scratch and decide which one to fish. Oh, mosquitoes everywhere, I can tell you that. Everywhere, lots of matchbox size mosquitoes. Um, yeah, so as I said at the start of the video, I'm gonna be doing some barbel fishing this evening, well, hopefully, uh, maybe pick up the old chub. So the setup is as per usual, the Shimano Vengeance Barbel Power Rod, Marco Cortesi centre pin reel, low resistance running rig setup, same as you've seen on lots of my videos. Now bait wise, mainline 50-50 base mix with my own added liquid foods, spices and palliative stimulants. Just a nice blank canvas milk protein bait, base mix that is. Then I've added my own, what I feel is my own signature and little twist what I'm happy with, what has certainly been working so far this season. Um, and that's as simple as it gets. Got some mainline power particle hemp mixed with some bird seed and a nice little bit of the um, mainline margin coarse ground bait, which is quite a nice fishy aroma. Hoping there isn't too many craze about, probably will be. If there is, I've got some extra hard air dried boilies as well to switch over to. I'm just trying to chop and choose, make my mind up what swim that I want to fish. There's a, there's a few dotted about. And this swim that I've got my mind set on has got bushes one side and the um, other spot has got a sunken tree and a bush. So, yeah, I'm going to have a good look, have a good chin scratch and decide which one to fish. Right, finally into the swim that I've decided to pick. Lovely area, bit of a mixture of flows coming in and also slack areas so it looks nice I'll tell you what i've just seen it's about yay how oh, about here saw a nice tench easily five five pounds maybe a little bit bigger just come up roll dainty back down then it, areas all fizzy i was just grinning thinking to myself you little stinkers you know always in my thoughts i love my tench fishing it's always nice to see a tench roll on the river so yeah I think we're in for a, you know, a chance of anything and everything. Bream, tench, chub, barbel, carp. Yeah, it's looking interesting. As I say, crayfish-wise, craze might be a pain. Might have to switch over to hard hook baits, which is the same. It's 50-50 base mix, and I've air-dried it. So, um, yeah, we'll play it by air, see how it goes. But it's always nice to see a fish roll. Nice to see a decent tench roll as well. So, yeah, who knows what this evening will bring. Lovely low-pressure conditions. 
you know, nice blanket of cloud, forecast to get a little bit wet later. I've actually brought an umbrella and a seat for a change. What is going on with me? A seat and umbrella, I'm really spoiling myself. You guys know as river anglers too. We don't always have all the luxuries, do we? We take, um, we pick our swims for how good they are, not how comfortable they are. But yeah, looks nice, nice features, nice bushes over the back here as well. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's get a line out there, shall we? I only brought the one rod, as usual. And obviously, as I showed you earlier, centre pin set up. Got to say, I probably wouldn't mind using a fixed ball reel, actually, in this swim. There's a lot of real estate that I can cast to with a fixed ball reel. My Wallace casting is a little bit, I would say even now, it's a little bit average. So, anyway, let's crack on. Right, that's us all set up. Didn't exactly get as close to where our ground baited, did I? Not ideal. Would rather be on, as I say, a fixed ball reel, actually. Well, that's us all done, all set up. Didn't get quite close to where our ground baited, though, in my opinion. I'm a little bit off. A little bit off, I mean about three and a half to four and a half foot off, which is off off. I'll trick a little bit extra bait that's a bit more accurate around the rod and then settle down for the evening. But yeah, wasn't the best of casts to be honest. Horse cross, eh? Lovely evening, but I've actually set up on a red ant's nest and they've had away with my right arm massively, stung me up. Into something, guys. Could be a tench. That's free. There we go, that's a bit of a slabber dabber do, isn't it? A little bit of an arc of a dent in its back. Presumably an old predation mark with a bit of a, a bit of a chunky chunky slab. You know, as far as I'm concerned, any fish from a new area to get your eye in, any species, is always welcome. Now I was after a barbel, saw the tench, wouldn't mind the tench, and certainly don't mind a bream. Much maligned by some anglers in our hobby. Uh, not by myself, on, on the right tackle and even on the barbel gear. They put up a good scrap river bring and this was no exception. I had a tench about half an hour before this fish took. I had a tench roll right under my rod tip. 
looking forward to coming back to this spot and getting amongst a few of the tench, maybe, hopefully anyway, a few of the chub and barbel. Oh, how do guys? It's cloudy, it looks perfect, it's raining. Back out for a second bite of the apple at this same swim where you see I had that bream. Change of plans this time. Feels a bit alien to me. Two rods. <laughs> I'm going to be using two rods in the swim, but as I say, this spot does command a lot of water. So I don't think two rods is harming. I don't think it's cutting my chances. I do think it's increasing them. Certainly not going to be spooking the fish as there is a lot of water here to go at. So, as you can see there, that is Shimano X-Age reels, and the older front drag models, superb reels. I love them to pieces. So I loaded them up. Twin which uh, twin, not Witchwood, twin Shimano purists barbel rods, one and three quarter test curve. Bait wise, same as last time. Rig wise, same as last time. Low resistance running rigs, and mainline baits, 50-50 base mix made to my exact liking with some spices, some palatives and liquid foods. And just gonna be baiting up with some balls of ground bait. And I've got some mesh bags as well. What do I expect today? I do expect this evening's good bream conditions. So I'm expecting a few bream, not complaining. I like to catch a few bream, especially on the barbel tackle. Get a nice river bream like the one in the last part of the video. Yeah, they give a good account of their self on the right tackle. But yeah, hopefully a few bream, maybe a few chub or a chub or two and a Fingers crossed the barbel. So it's as simple as it gets. Oil is wrapped in paste. It's a mainline 50 50 base mix. Low resistance, quick change, running rigs. Probably going to use a two ounce lead on each rod. And round one rod, I might pack some ground bait around the weight. And the other rod, mesh bags. Or I might do mesh bags on both and then loose, loose feed the ground bait. Anyway, it's forecast to lash down. I'm hoping it stays like this. It's ideal. Um, and yeah. Hopefully the red ants uh, and the mosquitoes, uh, <laughs> hopefully they stay at bay. Anyway, let's crack on, let's set up. There we go, all set up. Pace wrap, 50-50 mix. Nice bit of birdseed in the main line, match marginal ground bait mixed with birdseed and hemp. Just packing that round the weight. Rain is getting heavier. Not the easiest of time. Right then, all set up. It says me with a grimace. I've read ants, you've gone all up my leg. You've gone all up my leg. And they didn't even hit my third leg, which I'm really thankful about. 
just hammered my thigh and it is oh, I took my trousers down and I found about six ounces in my pants I'm not sure how they got there either so I only knelt down for a few minutes anyway they've oh, had me had me good but got both the rods out going light with the ground bait not heavy ground baiting a few loose boilies I've placed around a few crumbs half boilies and that's going to be it I'm going to recast more than I normally would probably a few times more than normal and I'm going to pack the bait around the weight, recast it. So the bird seed ground bait, that's the uh, mainline match. Coarse, marginal ground bait, very nice fishy aroma to it. Very, very nice, can make it up just right, you know, perfect consistency for wrapping around the lead or putting in the feeder and having different breakdown consistencies. Really nice to work with. In that I've got the bird seed, I've got the hemp. As I say, it's been a while since I've used two rods on a river, so it does feel a little bit weird bit of a hard swim to cast because I'm trying to get across the river to where there's a nice steady flow so I've managed to cast what my right rod as you've seen there cast out of a bit of a right handers cast as such well a little bit of an unorthodox cast but yeah looks nice rain's really steadily coming down I'm gonna probably get my umbrella up I've got a mosquito coral or two and hoping it keeps the ants away you can hope can't you oh, I'll tell you what they have vicious bar lambs they are they're doing me up a good one, I know that. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I've got a knock on the right rod at the moment. Just banged twice. Looks interesting. Seen quite a real hard bite as well. Fingers crossed, it might be a barbus. Yeah, it's just gone again. I've got to get the light off. So I've got the camera pointing at the spot. Just in case this is going to go. Fingers crossed. Green guys, I think it's a barbel. Oh. Cut back. There's a barbel. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, 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 it's going. It's going, guys. <laughs> Get in there! Get in! <laughs> Graham, if you're watching, you said you could have a barbell tonight. You're spot on, mate. Cracking! That's a corker! That is a perler! <laughs> so, all I'm doing is using the following. That is the mainline match marginal ground bait. That's quite a nice mixture. I've made that up quite firm. In there you've got the power hemp and my red band. Hafe's red band pigeon conditioner American Express I don't like leaving home without that in my ground boat so make that up to quite a solid consistency but still breaks down but slower a bit paste like actually and wrapping that around the lead great way to get bait to areas of the river where you want to get some accuracy you might be recasting every hour or even half an hour if you're on a feeder but every hour or so or two hours and you just want to know that there's a ball of ground bait down there just fed feeding that in via it being wrapped around the gripper lead um, yeah lovely barb on it can't complain we're going to take a look at her right now got her resting up in the net just recasting one of my rods well there we go the business end of a lovely large 
Get it, Barbel. Absolute corker. My mate says to me, what do you reckon? When I had it in the net, I said, I reckon 12 to 13. It's 12 pound eight. I think you're estimating pretty well. Let's draw myself back. What a corker indeed. Look at that towel. And a half, generate some power. Had a couple of bites there, and the rod's just hooped over and gone into meltdown, really. What a corker. Happy days. Pull myself back. Look at that. Look at those hydroplanes. Look at those fins. Immaculate condition. Hard fighting. Prince of the river. Thought after that first trip, you've got to be in with a chance of a barbel in this kind of area. Good depth. Nice bit of walking pace flow. Good weed beds. Happy, happy days. What a kooka. Business end of a rather beautiful fish. Let's get it slipped back for someone else hopefully lucky enough to catch it as well. Off we go. To another fish guys. Feels like it might be a bream, I'm not sure. Yep, there's a bream. Nice spring, isn't it? Oh, it's a nice spring. That's the right slab, that is. <laughs> yeah, still got spawning turbicles on it. Largest bream I've had from this spot, and second bream in the last couple of trips. Really, really, don't mind catching these one bit. They are brilliant. Look at that for a dinner plate. God. <laughs> Let's pull myself back. Look at that, what a, what a corker. Very nice too, what a wonderful trip. Let's get this one, well, I'm gonna give this one away. Did it slip back? Cracking. <laughs> well, as you can probably see, eh, all packed up. But, it's been a very enjoyable trip. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this particular video. Um, and I thought I'd show the first trip where I come down, I've been sussing out different areas I've come down I had that nice bream but I knew it'd produce a decent barbel but yeah great trip two nice fish lovely eight plus bream as well a real dinner plate <laughs> and that lovely 12 8 barbel what a gorgeous immaculate looking barbus real good scrap and a beautiful fighting fit fish but yeah it's been really enjoyable it's um, always nice piecing bits of river together and you know, I do a lot of mooching about, what I, what I call mooching about, or you know, looking around. I like to invest my time, or any bits of time, rather than just going out and fishing straight away. If I can have an hour or two just walking about, looking at spots, getting some idea of flow rates, or the way the current, or the way the river is actually carrying its water through different swims, and just, just look at areas and get a feel, that can pay dividends in my opinion. And um, yeah, certainly worked out on this particular occasion. But yeah, I think I'm going to be doing a few more barbel trips, that's for sure. I've been enjoying it. It feels a bit odd though, I've got to admit, changing to back to two rods on the river. Um, I like my single rod, single centre pin fishing to be honest. Um, but yeah, can't knock the reels. Those Shimano X ages, I'll tell you, if you can get hold of them on eBay second hand, they're cracking. They're some of the best front drag reels I've used. 
and um, I would never part with them for all the tea in China. Anyway, best be heading off. Hope you've enjoyed this video and wherever you're fishing, I hope you're having a, you know, a good few trips and some enjoyable captures and more importantly, enjoying your fishing and making some quality memories. Anyway, I'll see you on the flip side on another Fishing for Memories video. Take care guys. Goodbye.